I'll tell you what, guys, as we get closer and closer to this election, Donald Trump just keeps coming even more off the rails. I really believe he is going to slide into Tuesday sideways with all the crazy stuff that he's saying and doing. Uh, some of the stuff that he said has been pretty damn scary, and someone should visit him and make sure he's okay. But then there has been some moments that have just give us a really good gut laugh. And folks, I need it. I don't know how you guys feel, but this whole election cycle has weighed pretty heavy on me. And so if I can get a good gut laugh at his expense from time to time, uh, I'm going to take it and I'm going to enjoy it. And the one clip, no matter how my day's been going, that I've been going back to and just cracking up at is him and the whole garbage truck. Um, the guy has cosplayed as a coal miner. He's cosplayed as a fry cook. Uh, and now he did as a garbage man. Now he did the whole fry cook thing because he heard Kamala Harris once worked at a McDonald's. So he had to show her that he could too. <laughs> Went out and did his little photo op. And then Joe Biden uh, said the only garbage he saw there was his supporters, which listen, about that whole thing, Trump supporters are the last people on earth that should ever get offended or that should ever get upset at us saying something back. They have called us fascist, socialist, Marxist, pedophiles, communist, Satanist, every, every, every imaginable thing, enemy of the people, enemy from within, poisoning the blood, uh, needs the military turned on us. They've said all these things. So if we look over and say, hey, we see, a, we, we see the garbage as you, I mean, at this point, you just got to be willing to take it because you've been dishing it out. So I don't really care uh, that, that Biden said that. But what's so hilarious he actually should have been saying it more. But what's so hilarious about it is that he says it. And Donald Trump, in his attempt to, to capitalize on this moment, goes out and gets a garbage truck with his name on it. And uh, then when he went for the door handle, things just did not go his way at all. Take a look. Okay, now i got to be the first to admit, i got to own it. I've done that a time or two when I was pretty damn wasted, okay? I've reached for that doorknob and didn't quite get there and then had a little slipperoo. <laughs> But if Joe Biden had had that same moment, the, the new cycle would have broke. I mean, they would have been all over it. The thing is, they have never held Donald Trump accountable the way that we have here in the pro-democracy movement. Those of us at the Midas Touch Network and everyone out here putting in the work every day does it. But mainstream media doesn't. They don't focus on the dangerous stuff, he says, and they don't focus on the things that clearly is like, hey, this guy has not got it all together. But he's so easily triggered that Joe Biden's comment about garbage men is that, I'm going to go out here and put on this suit and I'm going to drive, um, not drive the garbage truck, by the way. He sat in the passenger seat <laughs> and said, how do you like my garbage truck? So he was going to be chauffeured around while uh, someone else picked up the garbage and he just sat there and people don't see what a con job that is. People don't see just how insulting that is to their intelligence. I could not stand to sit there and be played by a dude like that. To know that I got played by a dude like that would just be disturbing to me to wake up to that reality. And I know that we talk about him being in a cult a lot, but that's just because it's true. I've always had a fascination with cults from the, t from the minute I was a kid. And one night, against my mom's wishes, I snuck and watched the movie Helter Skelter. And um, I've, been, uh, I've always followed cults and how they work. And I've always been you know, fascinated with the, with the mindset that someone could have. But I watched an interview with Leslie Van Houten, who was one of the Manson girls. And she actually got out of prison recently, the first one they ever let loose. And um, she was talking about it, and she talked about all the drugs that she did with Charles Manson. And she said that it took her years, because she dropped acid with him every day, multiple trips a day. And so she said she was in prison five or six years before her brain started to even come back to her, and she began to realize that she was played. And she began to realize that she was conned. You know, and I'm not in any way condoning what happened uh, back in the, the, with the Manson murders. I, in, in no way would condone that. But I would say at least Leslie Van Houten woke up, realized she was conned by, and she was 19 years old, by the way, realized that she got conned by this cult leader and then paid her debt to society for over 50 years. So I could speak more in favor of her than I can the MAGA ones that are still hanging on or just refuse to see it or who will never admit to it. They'll never admit it. They'll never admit they sit there. And I don't know at this point, like, how do they do it? Like, how do they hang on at this point? I seriously wonder with the whole garbage truck thing, it's like, do you, do you guys realize we're laughing at you now? We're just we're just having a good gut laugh at this because it's got it's gotten that ridiculous. That wasn't a flex at all. Uh, if he thought that was a flex, if his followers are sharing that as a flex, it's not. He's never done any of the jobs that he's cosplayed as. 
it's only been for cosplay. It's only been to uh, exploit, manipulate people. And the ones that says, well, I applaud him for being this, no, or being interested in these people. He's not interested in these people. And the reason why that he reached the door handle and missed, and the reason why in the past he's had trouble getting doors to open is because no one's, he's never had to open the door before. He's always had everything handed to him and pampered and someone holding the door for him. And he goes out there and cosplays. You know, I, I can't imagine that Joe Biden has a couple more days in Kamala. They have a couple more days here. They could trigger him. But I really hope that someone doesn't tell him he sucks at guitar because I don't want to see him strap a guitar on and, uh, and try to act like he's uh, Eddie Van Halen because we, we all know he's not. I can't imagine the, the disaster and the clusterfuck that would be. But if he was to do that and someone said, hey, there, man, see, he's a musician. He plays music. I'd be like, screw him. I don't care what he cosplays as. That dude is not fit for any office anywhere. And we got the receipts every day to show you here. Here it is, folks. I mean, there it is. I don't know what else we can do except try to show and uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, Leslie Van Houten, at least she, she's got the excuse she was on acid. Are these people? They're not. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see when they wake up from it. I hope they do. But um, I thank you guys so much for hitting the subscribe button here on my channel and coming along on this ride with me. I'm out in California at the moment visiting. And so uh, having a great time out here. I'm hoping to run into some friends while I'm out here and uh, we'll make some cool content. I got uh, literally got distracted by a squirrel in the tree behind me, <laughs> but uh, but I really appreciate you guys for uh, for being here and uh, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I uh, appreciate you so much and uh, we're just going to get over the hump to this election and uh, have uh, Kamala Harris and restore some decency in this country.